Ah, so, here we go again. Another theory video. Stick around. There we are. Hello there, YouTube, and welcome. I am Davros, and I am a Whovian. And today's video is, of course, another Who theory. So, um, the theories that I've had so far have been like on time laws, like the Doctor and the Master, and all that. I think I've been thinking. How about a theory on one of the monsters? And one of those monsters I thought to theorise on are the Centaurans. Now, of course, you, if you're a Who fan like me, you'll know all about the Centaurans. They're a clone race bred for war. They're quite squat. They have potato-like heads. And they have a weak point behind their necks. And, <clears throat> and all that yada yada yada. But one thing that I've noticed about the Centaurans... They're all male. Well, yeah, male Centaurans. And it's brought to my attention. Are they a single sex species? Or are they females? Now, this idea came up about when I watched the uh, series 10 episode, The Empress of Mars. Uh, you know, that had the first ever ice warrior that was a female in it, the Empress of Mars. So it got me thinking, they're female Centaurans. Now, of course, if you know the history of the Centaurans, the war started like thousands of years ago or something. And basically, to keep them, keep the hope that they're still winning and stuff, they started to repopulate by cloning and making soldiers and stuff to the point where they all just became bred for war. So, I'm thinking, right, before this whole war broke out, what if there were female Centaurans? You know, what if they reproduced naturally, you know, like through mating and breeding and that? You know, what if there was female Centaurans? They, I think they should, you know, I think maybe they could pick, uh, do something like that. I mean, I'm currently writing a fanfic, a fanfic story where, where we do have a female Centauran, but uh, you can see all that on Whovian's Amino. I do write a lot of fanfiction on there. Um, so, um, the um, so yeah, I'm thinking, are there female Centaurans? I can picture them, a female Centauran. Uh, you know, not as muscularly built as the male. Still a bit, a bit of a slim body, wider hips, breasts, you know, like, you know, and a bit of a feministic in the face. The, 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 a, you know, where you can tell it's like a woman underneath all the makeup, you know, because we know that Strax uh, is a Centauran and... That he was like demoted to like nurse or nanny or something, and we knew he could lactate, so we know that the Centaurans can do that. Uh, but yeah, I just want to. I've just wondered for a while: are there female Centaurans in the Hooniverse, or were there female Centaurans? I don't know about that, but I don't think we've ever. I don't think there's been an episode of Doctor Who where we've been to the Centaurans' home planet. Uh, because I've basically got every single Centauran story I can think of. I've got, you know, the Time Warrior with John Pertwee. I've got um, the Centauran Experiment, the Invasion of Time, and the Two Doctors, and... <coughs> excuse me. 
and um, excuse me, that was my dad shouting me there. Um, yeah, uh, what was I on about? No. Uh, yeah, and I've got like from the David Tennant years, uh, the Santoran strategy or something, you know, series four, and the Poison Sky. I've also got the uh, well, I'm not got, but I've seen the Sarah Jean Adventures, the Last Santoran. I've also seen um, what else is there? Um, yeah, I've basically seen every single well, from what I can gather, Santoran story. Uh, I think, are there any audio adventures out there with the Eighth Doctor or any of the other Doctors? Um, I don't know. Um, maybe there is, but I haven't listened to them. Uh, but yeah, um, female Centaurans, do you think there may be some out there? Uh, let me know that down in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share with your friends. All my social media links are down below in the description. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you can stay notified when a new video has been uploaded to this channel. I do reviews as well as theories and that. And yeah, so uh, until next time, run for your life.